Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully you're having a great, great day. Today we're going to see Michael Knowles wrecks entire group of spoiled virtue. Uh, sign, signaling, 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 uh, crybabies. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Michael Knowles, I like him. I like how he debates. Just dive right into it and see what happens. Let's go. It's easy to cast dispersions on our forebears from our privileged positions in the most powerful, most equitable, most just, most prosperous country in the history of the world. It's far more difficult and humbling to recognize the complexities of history and show gratitude for the people who made our lives possible. Yeah. All of that is beside the point. All of that has been missed by the ignorant activists who insist that GW ditch the colonial. The point that they're missing is this. The colonials that the mascot represents were not defenders of colonialism. In fact, they were the opposite of defenders of colonialism. They fought a bloody war, they risked their lives to end colonialism in America and to end rule in Great Britain. They okay. wanted their political independence. Fuck you, you fucking fascist! Shame! 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 What happened? What happened? Ooh, ooh. Sorry. Oh, they? Okay. What in the name of God happened? He was just talking. You fucking fascist! Shame! 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 Is this Game of Thrones? Oh, there. These kids are really. Is this Game of Thrones? They proving me wrong. You see, because my premise was that these students are ignorant and uh, not well behaved. But they're proving me wrong tonight. They, they called me a fascist for defending George Washington. Behold your country, leftists. Behold. I hope the cameras catch uh, all the faces here, too. Because I think this school costs about $70,000 a year to attend. This is the job they've done. <laughs> hey, hey, just, just for the people in the room, if you have, like that guy right there. What did I say, what did I say that you disagree with? Does anyone have anything, what did, what did I say that any of you disagree with? Can you name one thing? What, well, what is it, what is it? What did I say? I can't hear over all the shouting and uh, the screeching and the... What, what did I say that you disagree with? Could you... Thunder? I can't... I can't... What are you saying? I can't hear it. So they can't name one thing. They can't name one thing. Well, I'm glad that now that uh, those uh, people left the room, now we can bring in more people to hear about George Washington. Welcome back in. <laughs> glad to hear it. So, uh, <laughs> well, uh, as I was saying, some kids have missed the point. <laughs> they missed the Whoa. point entirely. Because if they were in the room or if they could listen or if they had two brain cells to rub together, what, what they would have realized is, what they would have realized is if you oppose colonialism, then you should love the colonial mascot. The colonial mascot is a symbol of fighting colonialism in America. The colonial should be their hero. I don't know who their hero is. I don't want to know who their hero is. Nobody want to know. The question is, what have these entitled and ignorant history erasers ever done themselves? Those people who were shrieking and screaming, what have they ever done? What credibility do they have? What authority do they have? They don't have any. They don't Outrageous. have any. Outrageous. Yeah. They signal their own virtue every chance they get. What virtue have they ever actually enacted or embodied? Those spoiled, overgrown children stand atop, atop rather, the shoulders of giants, and they think that they're flying. They never, ever seem to pause and reflect on their own imperfections. Yeah. They never seem to know even what they're shouting about. They attack the colonials for occupying a land previously inhabited by Native Americans. We all occupy that same land today. Why don't any of us leave? Why don't any of them leave? They're the ones making the claim. If this is stolen land, then why don't those people pick up and go back to their ancestral lands? 
Yeah. For most people, that would be an impossibility because in America, we all hail from ancestrally from many different places. Would I go back to Italy? Would I go back to Ireland? Would I go back to Britain? I don't know. I'd try to figure out a way to go back to Greenland because I know that that's going to come back into America pretty soon. <laughs> Are we really wise to cast aspersions with the perspective of 250 years on men and women who are in so many ways better than us? The anti-historical, anti-intellectual, and anti-American fanaticism that would do away with George the Colonial is caused by ignorance, of course. But more than that, it is caused by pride. Our generation's unearned and unwarranted sense of moral superiority over our ancestors, that's pride. George Washington had a motto, and GW has adopted this motto very often. We would all do well to remember it. The motto is three words. It says, deeds, not words. Deeds, not words. Washington was famously reticent. He didn't signal his virtue to his countrymen. George Washington didn't need to signal his virtue. He enacted virtue. Our founding fathers' critics would do very well to emulate not just Washington, but so many of our colonial forebears. If they quieted their uninformed yaps and instead performed even some small fraction of the great deeds of those great men, those great American colonials. They and all the rest of us would be better off. Yeah. Perhaps then, we might be interested in what those people have to say. Yeah. Now, certainly, we are not. Of course. Until then, I'm sticking with George the Colonial. First in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. Thank you very much. All right. All right. At least the people that they, they don't like him got out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say like something to this little kids, dude, if you have a cause and you don't listen, well, you don't have a cause anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. If you have a cause that you really, really believe in and the all the evidence, all the things, all the receipts that you have in hand, you have in your mind and you you just don't want to have a conversation with it you're done you're done okay because this is not a way to treat a person just to shout at him and he's like only okay he's a debater like he wants to talk like just if you can stumble him if you can like make him like just knows what he thinks is wrong like if you are thinking correctly well everything can change but obviously, you cannot say anything, anything, just like, okay, this is some swear words, and okay, I'm, I'm just going to storm out. Well, this is not a way to uh, to make uh, any ag agreement or ma an argument, you know? It's not a way to settle anything. It's just a way to speak, uh, that you, and a way to, uh, to, to say that you are stupid yeah that's 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 it and you are young you you should be the the the, the first one to embrace any changes or any kind of uh, subject that is happening in front of you because logic is if this is logical that you should be with like you should be on board but if it's not you say something but if it's not, you say something and you say, well, this is not logical because this and this and this. But you just storm out. Well, that's stupidity. Yeah, this is my point of view on this one. I don't know. Tell me, guys, your point of view. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, leave a like. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.